Hi, hello, I'm Caleb Tallinn. I'm part of the Wagtail core team. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Wagtail up and running on your browser. Uh, so you don't have to do any coding or anything like that with just a couple of clicks so that you can basically go and explore Wagtail to see if this is a viable solution for what you need. So just behind me here, you can see github.com uh, slash wagtail slash wagtail dash git pod. And if you're ever wondering exactly where to go, you can always just Google GitHub Wagtail and come on down here. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably aren't super familiar with GitHub. And honestly, that's totally okay. You don't really need to be. So once you find this page, you're going to find this nice little blue button and you just want to click open in Gitpod. And what this is going to do is automatically create a brand new it's a dev term, but an environment uh, where Wagtail and all this other stuff is automatically installed. You don't have to do anything on your computer. You can literally just click that button. Now, for me, this automatically works. For you, it's going to ask you to log in with GitHub. And if you don't have a GitHub account, you're going to want to make one. You don't need to do anything else, and it's totally free. So if you have that GitHub account, you can just click sign in with GitHub. Now down here, you can see this is doing all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, honestly, you don't really even need to know what that's doing. That's just really getting things set up for you. Uh, so it's downloading a bunch of files that it needs, uh, and then it's going to automatically set up your database for you. So again, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. And then once this is done, it's gonna pop up a nice little preview on the side where you can automatically just click around and get up and running. Okay, so that preview there just opened and you're going to want to click admin interface. And your login here can actually be found on this page back on GitHub. The username is admin and the password is change me. So let's type admin and change me. And this is your Wagtail admin. And you could, if you wanted to, get into all sorts of coding stuff in here. Uh, but if you're not really into that, let's just expand that and make this bigger. You can now see that we've got this page in here. This is a default page. So you can click edit on it and you can move around. You can explore all sorts of things. So every page comes with a title. Every page comes with a slug and a custom SEO title and SEO description. Uh, when you want it to go live, when do you want it to expire? So you can time your pages for like landing pages and, and coupons and marketing and all, all sorts of things like that. In your images, you can upload and manage your images. Same thing with documents. Uh, reports, this is really nice. When someone is editing a page, you can basically see if a page is being locked because it's being edited by someone else. Uh, and you can download it as an Excel SX or a CSV, depending on what works best for you, probably a regular Microsoft spreadsheet works. And then in your settings, you can manage your users, different groups for different permissions. So if only certain people are supposed to do certain things, you can set up custom groups for your users as well. So that, you know, maybe you have an editor and an editor shouldn't be able to see any of these settings or shouldn't be able to see certain page types, things like that. Uh, different sites. So if you're looking for a type of content management system or some sort of technology that you can host multiple websites with really just one installation, this one has you covered. Wagtail can absolutely do that. Collections is really just a way to put files uh, and images or documents and images into folders. And so you can sort of organize them a little nicer that way. You can also automatically set up redirects. So if you wanted someone to go from yourwebsite.com slash my profile to website.com slash profile, you could set that up in here automatically as well. And that works for you right out of the box. Additionally, we have all sorts of account settings. You can set a profile picture. You can change your email, change your password, notification preferences, language preferences. You can change your current time zone and you can even change your name. And this is all the stuff that comes right out of the box with Wagtail CMS. And with Gitpod, what's nice about this is this link up here, if you just click that, this is going to open up a brand new tab with this, this really strange looking link. And you can actually copy and paste this to your other coworkers, other developers, friends, family, anyone you will, anyone you really want to share this with, uh, they can come to this page, click on admin interface, and they can sign in, poke around as well. Now, one thing to note, however, is once this 
uh, notices that there's no sort of interaction for a little while, it is going to close down automatically. So if you're thinking about maybe setting this up uh, right now and then coming back to it tomorrow, that's probably not the best option. A better option would be to set it up, poke around, uh, get a feel for it right now, and then if you have to come back to it tomorrow, just let this expire on its own. It'll automatically take care of itself. And then you can come back to this page, click open in Gitpod, and it will just open up a brand new instance of that exact same website. And you can just pick up really where you left off, uh, where you were just checking things out and seeing if Wagtail is or is not for you. So that is how you can get up and running with Wagtail with one click, technically two clicks if you have to authenticate GitHub. Uh, so two clicks up, up front, uh, and then every time after that, it's just one click. Uh, and you can see if this is uh, right for you and your organization. So have some fun with that. Feel free to poke around. And if at any point in time you ever need any sort of support, you can always come to wagtail.io slash slack, and we can help you out with any sort of questions regarding either this setup or if Wagtail is right for you, if it can or cannot do certain things, feel free to come reach out to us in our public Slack channel. Again, that's wagtail.io slash slack. Thank you for tuning into this video. Again, my name is Caleb Tallinn. I'm part of the Wagtail core team, and I hope to see you around in the future.